Sansa is comprehensive monasteries at which spiritual practice, belief, and the daily living of both Buddhist monks and lay believers unfold. After Japanese invasions of Korea in the late 16th century, major buildings at the nominated temples were reconstructed at the time and are treasured today as one of the most outstanding masterpieces of Buddhist architecture in Korea. The religious values of Buddhism are incorporated into the unique spatial arrangements at these Buddhist mountain monasteries. Monastic communities of the mountain temples, which have been maintained intact until the present, manifest the sacredness of the sites. At the seven mountain monasteries, the surrounding topographical features and nature serve as natural boundaries, while spaces for Buddhist ceremonies, practice and daily living centered around Madang an open yard are organically interconnected. This arrangement of the monastery compound attests to the assimilative integration of various religious and cultural traditions, a distinctive characteristic of Korean Buddhism. At Sansa, the age-old cultural traditions still maintain their vitality in harmony with the surrounding landscape. Tongdosa Temple, located in a broad fat valley, boasts of its extensive scale, making this temple the largest in Korea. The architectural layout incorporates monastic academy for studying Buddhist scriptures and precepts, along with buildings for religious practice, belief and daily living, into the integrated temple compound. Tongdasa demonstrates the assimilative nature of Korean Buddhism through its embrace of a wide variety of Buddhist beliefs centered on the diamond precept platform, in which the holy relics of Sokkamani Buddha are enshrined. Pusoksa Temple is built on multiple levels of stone terraces, utilizing a natural slope along a mountain. The Hall of Infinite Life dedicated to Amitabha Buddha serves as the focal point of the temple compound and other buildings are arranged around this architecture on each level. As a comprehensive monastery, Pusoksa features a combined array of variant buildings for practice, belief and the daily living of both monks and lay believers, displaying the integrated characteristics of Korean Buddhism. As one ascends each step towards the Hall of Infinite Life, which sits on the highest ground, it seems the breathtaking scenery unfolded before one's eye is the manifestation of the Buddha's pure land, the quintessence of pure land practice of the recitation of Amitabha Buddha's name. Pongjongsa Temple, settled on a narrow mountain slope, is marked by the Paradise Hall and the Hall of the Great Hero, dedicated to Amitabha Buddha and Sokkamoni Buddha, respectively, who enjoyed great popularity among the general public in the history of Korean Buddhism. These halls with their independent madang, an open yard, sit next to each other across the Avatamsaka Lecture Hall for scriptural studies of monks. This layout signifies the clergy and the laity undertake the spiritual practice and education and interact closely with each other within the temple compound.
The hall dedicated to Sun meditation and the shrine of the mountain spirit within the temple compound testify to the assimilation of Korean indigenous belief into Buddhism. Lying beyond a trail and two access gates, Popjusa Temple sits on a relatively broad area in a mountain valley. The spatial configuration of its current precinct was completed after the Japanese invasions with the central area of the Hall of Maitreya and its northward expansion along a stream. The alignment of the treasure hall of the great hero, which represents Avat Amsaka belief, and the hall of Maitreya, which enshrines the future Buddha, form the longitudinal and transverse axes that cross the hall of eight pictures, the only extant wooden pagoda in Korea. At Popjusa, the teachings of eminent patriarchs are put into practice through monthly vigil worshipping Maitreya Buddha, ritual circumambulation of the Hall of Eight Pictures and lay Buddhist ordination. The Magoksa Temple compound is expanded from the northern section of the precinct surrounding the treasure hall of the great hero, toward the southern section with the Vulture Peak Hall across a stream. The comprehensive monastery is composed of a diverse collection of well-preserved structures, including the Son Meditation Hall, Lecture Hall and Storehouse for the daily living of monks and lay believers. This allows visitors to obtain a glimpse of the spiritual practice traditional of monastic communities. Located on a valley bottom of a mountain, Tsonamsa is a comprehensive monastery which combines meditation hall with spaces for daily living, all centered on Madang, an open yard where the hall of the great hero and two stone pagodas stand. As Honamsa was an extensive temple at which a number of practitioners resided, several square-shaped buildings still remain. The unique T-shaped hall of Avalokitesvara, designated as the votive shrine for praying for the well-being of the royal household, attests to the assimilative nature of Korean Buddhism, which incorporated diverse practices into temple compound. Outhouse Heuso, literally meaning a place for emptying worries, is the outdoor toilet at the temple and shows one aspect of traditional daily life at mountain temples. Sitting at the foot of a mountain next to a valley, the Daehungsa Temple compound is divided into two areas by a stream flowing through the precinct. Beyond the treasure hall of the great hero and a stream lies Pyochungsa, a shrine built to commemorate the great master Sosan, who devoted himself to the defense of the nation during the Japanese invasions. This shrine, also accommodating Confucian practices, reflects many points of intersection between the diverse traditions and the assimilative integration of Korean Buddhism. Daehungsa produced a number of eminent monks succeeding the great master Sasan. The Dongguk-son Meditation Center has continued to uphold the spirit of the 12 great patriarchs of the temple and become a center of Son practice. Buddhist monastic communities have remained intact until the present at Sansa, which have incorporated the religious values of Korean Buddhism into their distinctive spatial layouts. Sansa, 
Buddhist mountain monasteries in Korea is living heritage site at which the surrounding topographical feature and nature serve as natural boundaries. Ritual services, spiritual practice, and daily living centered on Madang. An open yard maintain a close relationship, and religious values and traditions are integrated. Sansa, spiritual sanctuaries for the Korean people, are treasured cultural heritage sites that preserve the steadfast tradition of the 1600-year history of Korean Buddhism. A variety of laity associations, volunteer interpreters of the monasteries, and local residents along with the monastery communities cherish their precious cultural heritage and put their every effort in the protection of the legacy of Sansa for future generations.